hi everyone and in this video we are gonna retrieve and store what is called the device registration token and the device registration token is a token that Firebase messaging for FCM provided us to when the user logs in or registered once the authentication is done we can retrieve this token and we can store it store it in firebase and maybe you are asking why we will need ever to restore it because when you need to send a notification to a specific device only a single device you need the device token so what we will do is to retrieve the token and store it inside the firebase real-time database and in the next few videos we will take this token and send the notification to a specific device associated with that token so let's get started let me just bring up my google chrome right here and i am in the cloud messaging in the firebase cloud messaging documentation as you can see from here and let's go ahead and click on the android setup and it will tell you about the sdk and you must have at least Android Studio installed latest version and the Gradle and all this kind of stuff. We have a Firebase project, so we will skip this step and let's go down. And let's go down. Okay, we have everything. So now let's go ahead and add those two dependencies and uh, messaging and analytics dependencies. So now we have copied those two dependencies. Let's go to the app build.gradle file and we can here, let me just organize this, paste it right here. So you may be asking, okay, we will use a Firebase machine. What the hell we need the Firebase analytics? And uh, Google recommends adding the analytics with the message and that's it. So now we have these two dependencies. We need to go up here and synchronize the project. So this is the necessary dependencies that we will need in order to get the token and eventually retrieve it and so on. So let uh, the Gradle sync and let's continue with our setup. So now we added this kind of dependencies right here and uh, we will get into manifest things in the future anyway let's skip that part and go to accessing the device registration token and the registration token as you can see from here it may change if the app is stored in a new device or users uninstall or reinstall the app or the user clears the app data so in order to get it and actually it's very easy we we'll use the firebase messaging get instance so and access the token and then we will add an incomplete listener to make sure that this task is successful and if the task is successful we can say task dot result and then we can store it so let's go ahead and go to okay we will need uh, two places where we need to retrieve the device registration token and store it in the firebase in the register and in the login because in both scenarios the App user is authenticated and it will be moved to user list activity. So inside the login, after the login user here method, and we can before just uh, sending the user to the user list activity, we can create another function that will take care of this process of retrieving and storing the token. So private fun create a method and say it retrieve let's call it retrieve and store token okay so now we have this method so now we have the retrieve and store device token what we can do is to call firebase messaging and we can get an instance and then we want to access the token and let's add an incomplete listener that have a task parameter a lambda parameter and we can check of course if 
task that is successful that means we can get the token and if then we will call task result and this result is the token that we have so now we have the token right here let's go ahead and store it inside the firebase database so get the firebase database instance get a get an instance and get a reference to let's create a new node or a new child called tokens and then let's create another child because we, we want to store the tokens just under the user id so it will be something like this it will be tokens okay tokens and then it will be the user id for example just like this and then the huge device registration token okay so in the future we can by using the id we can get this string so now the child would be the user id so i can create a variable right here to get the current user id firebase authentication get in instance current user dot user id or u id and now we have the user id let's let's do like this so now we have the user id right here and we will store and we will store it under the user id so now we have the reference tokens and we have the user id and let's call set value to set the token right here so now everything looks good we get the token right here and then we will store it inside the firebase database tokens child so this is a method called retrieve and store device token we can call it right here okay restore a retrieve the device registration token we need to copy the same thing and let's go to register activity because the user is authenticated too and let's paste it inside this method and let's call it right here so now when the user logs in or register we should be able to store the device registration token inside the firebase database so let's run the application and see the result so now i run the application let's go to firebase database and open these things just like this so you can see if everything works fine so let me just log in using my email and password so when i hit login we should be signing in and then we should see a token is stored right here so let's go ahead and click login and let me just see so as you can see we have tokens and we have the user id and as you can see this is this long string is a device registration token and in the future we will use this to send a notification because it is unique every device will have a unique token so we can target a single device using this token and now just one more thing we want when the user logs out we don't want the user to receive the notifications because it makes sense nobody wants to receive a notification if they signed out or logged out or even deleted their app okay so let's go here let's go to users list activity and from here just before the sign out we can create and call a method that will remove the token we will just remove this token for the current user using its id we remove this and then we will let the user sign out normally so let's create a message right here private fun i will say clear i will call it clear token and it will take a user id make it user id of type string so now we have this method right here and to clear it it's very easy you will use a firebase database and you will get an instance and then 
you will get a reference and as you can see from here the reference is tokens all in small caps and we have an s okay so tokens and then child it will be the user id and then we'll call remove value and it removes the corresponding value right here so now we have the method clear token let's call it right here and let's send the firepath authentication get in instance the current user id user id and let and let me just put this double explanation mark to explicitly say that we are sure that is this user id is not gonna be now so now let's run the application again and we should when we log out sign out the token should be removed from the fire base so let's go ahead from here and i should when log out this should be removed and obviously all the tokens should be removed for now because we don't have any other child just a single child so when i hit log out as you can see the token has been removed and now we are done with the video and in the next few videos we will use this same token to target a single device if you like the video go ahead hit like and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to turn on the notification and of course if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and of course you can connect with me on instagram linkedin link in the description have a nice day.